I do a lot of rock climbing, ice climbing, and mountaineering, uh, skiing, of course. We do a lot of running on the trails, a lot of playgrounds. Um, there's a lot of hiking. And floating the river in Yellowstone. We all come in, work very hard while we're in the office, and then as soon as we can get outside and get out into the sun, we're always taking off with some people from work and seeing what we can get into. Work hard, play hard, it's so true about PFL and one of my team members is training for a 100 mile race. We do yoga every Tuesday. It's not uncommon to see fly rods in the print shop. <laughs> when I get off work, you know, I go fly fishing. There's so much opportunity here. It's amazing. I'm Valerie Gravage. I started here in 2012 and spent about four years running our safety program. My name is Tom Harold. I'm the VP of Manufacturing, and I've been here for coming up on three years. PFL was founded 20 years ago, and they're actually the first ever company to sell print online. There's just over 200 people working in the building, probably a 60-40 split between manufacturing and then the sales administrative side of the house. Yeah, there's the, the really obvious benefits, the you know, the dogs and the daycare, but you know, those to me are all peripheral benefits to PFL. They don't really make PFL what it is. It's about the people, and so our, our biggest attribute is our people. It's a small setting, it's a family type setting. It's really, really important that we keep our people safe. Starting fresh, into the safety program and not having a lot of experience. I had to leverage any tools I could to learn and there's some incredible resources on the Montana State Fund website. And then just being able to pick up the phone and, and call the team there and, and walk through things with them. Our biggest safety risk here is when people get complacent and they get in a hurry and they're going fast to try and get an order out and so they're you know, piling up empty boxes behind them and then in a rush, turn around and trip over those boxes. As I put safety programs in place, I really tried to find things that would be able to be repeated and systematic and turn into really sustainable programs. We used to do a safety tour monthly and it would be me and our VP of manufacturing and a couple other managers and one of our employees brought up the idea. You know, at my last company, the employees did that and it was a bottom-up process instead of a top-down process and that was you know, this huge aha, I was like, well, duh, of course we should be doing that. Safety is a process that keeps going day by day, week by week, month by month. And you, know, you never stop talking about tidying up. You never stop talking about hearing protection. You never stop talking about good ergonomics. You're never going to have it nailed all the way. You're going to have to keep returning back to those things. I park on the far side of the parking lot every day. I pinch myself as I'm walking in. After the first two months, I quit pulling my phone out and taking pictures. When you walk into PFL, the first thing you see is you that beautiful view down the Paradise Valley, and you look out over Livingston, and you know, you're really reminded why we live in Montana, and you know, that's to get out and really enjoy the outdoors. And so definitely having you know, the kids in the building and the dogs, it's, it's a reminder of why we want to stay healthy so we can, you know, really capitalize on living in this beautiful place. Mm -hmm.